Dear friends, as we are entering, as the Prime Minister stated last night, into what may God forbid be the hardest weeks yet in our battle with the coronavirus, I cannot but think how symbolic it is that this announcement has occurred just as we begin the book of Shemot, the tale of which our people enter into their hardest and darkest period as slaves in Egypt. As we know, we who have only been blessed to see the celebrations of Exodus. We are called upon to recall annually that darker period as well as the salvation which we had each year on Seder night. This annual commemoration, I now believe, considering our current circumstances, is for a twofold reason. The first is as a reminder that we must always be sensitive to the struggles of those who are burdened by challenging times and never consider that if we personally are managing the needs of others are somehow less important. Rather, Seder night in essence reminds us to actively show concern during times of hardship. And the second purpose of retelling the story of our redemption is to remind us that even in times of great hardship, salvation can be just around the corner. In essence, it's to remind us that it's good to have hope in God and for the potential for things to change for the better speedily. And this is our twofold message to our community, to you, as we enter into lockdown today. The first and foremost is our concern for all those who are struggling at this time. We often hear the sentiment, I'm sure that there are others worse off than me. But to all of our Bushy residents, we want to unequivocally communicate. It is your challenges that matter to us. Please, therefore, take note of the four categories of support that are available to you. These are our Bushy Community Cares, our Bushy Rabbinic Team, our Bushy Community Cares Fund, and our Bushy Hardship Fund. Please reach out to us and be on the lookout for others, family and friends, perhaps neighbors who may need the support. Our history teaches us to care and together we know we create a caring community. That's the first message. But the second message is equally important. And that is of course, that we are people who are built upon and nurtured by hope. And there is every reason, thanks to the advances of science, to hope that with our complete compliance with government regulations, the vaccination program, and sincere prayer to the Almighty, that these hardest of days will end speedily and a brighter tomorrow will dawn and emerge. So let us keep let us keep up our community spirit using the great virtual plane which we have all embraced because it is our belief that tomorrow, please God, will be the brighter and better day. And please God, we will get through this together and wishing you well on behalf of the Shul Executive rabbinic team, shul council, and community's care team. God, please protect us and please keep us well.